As you may or may not know, Arcanum is a classic CRPG from some of the best minds behind the original Fallout, except instead of a 1950s sci-fi feel, it's got more of a Dungeons & Dragons meets the Age of Steam kind of style. Hey everybody, Boss Sauce here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Arcanum to play nice with Windows 10. Now this should also work for Windows 11, let me know if it does or if it doesn't down in the comments. The problem with Arcanum is that both the Steam and GOG versions are stuck in 2001, they have a forced 4x3 ratio and 800x600 resolution. There's also a bunch of bugs and typos which might make your experience less than optimal. So, do you want to take Arcanum from this to this? Well, I've got some good news. Fortunately, there's the unofficial Arcanum patch. This patch works for both the Steam and GOG versions, and I believe it should work with the original disc version as well. If you do have a disc laying around and try it out and it works, I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. This mod has a bunch of extras such as adding back some of the game's cut content. Extra animations, enhanced maps, enhanced music, more playable races, support for any valid resolution, cheat menus, it's all there for the taking. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is download the patch from this website here, terraarcanum.com slash drogue. And then you can see here that this is the unofficial Arcanum patch. There's two mirrors for the patch, so you'll go ahead and download that. So now that you've downloaded the file, you want to go ahead and open it up, and it'll take you to a setup screen. Now if you're using the GOG version, you can install it right into the base folder, just like this. So you'll see here that I have this installed in Program Files, GOG Galaxy, Games, Arcanum. However, if you want to install this on the Steam version, you'll need to do a little more diligence here. So for the Steam version, you'll want to start out by making sure that the overlay is disabled to make sure this box is unchecked. If the overlay can interfere with the patch, then you'll want to make sure you get the path for the patch to install. So head to your local files and you'll want this subfolder. You'll want to make sure that you're installing this into the Steam app slash common slash arcanum slash arcanum folder for the Steam version. So during the install process, you can choose to stick with the default options. So you have the bug fixes, the high resolution patch, and the official DLC campaigns, some extra content, that's always welcome. Or you can also pick and choose to add some of the mod content. There's a race mod that lets you play as orcs, ogres, and dark elves. There's some beta content if you want to see old versions of some of the enemies and weapons. There's also some miscellaneous mods. These are mostly quality of life type things. There's a debug menu which functions as a cheat menu. There's a level cap remover. There's a way to turn off the repetitive combat music. And so on and so forth. You can look through these and pick and choose as you want. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to basically run with as close to a vanilla install as possible and just keep it to these three. But you can always come back and run the installer again to initialize the rest of the content if you wish. So, we're going to go ahead and click install. And you'll see that it is installing. Just give this a second to push up the little green bar. Okay, so when it's all done installing, you should see this screen that notifies you installation is successful. And there's a readme file if you want to browse that. Some interesting info is in there as well, some stuff that might be helpful that kind of explains how the patch works. So now that the patch is installed, we are still not done. We're going to configure the resolution, and to do this, you'll need to head into that game directory again. So with the Steam version, it's Arcanum slash Arcanum. With the GOG version, it's just the Arcanum folder. You'll want to go ahead and find this new folder called Hi-Res. And within Hi-Res, there's a INI file called config.ini. Go ahead and open this up with Notepad. And you'll see here that uh, it's got some resolution setting. So, here's where you'll want to change your resolution. Just type in what you want for the width and the height. You might want to take a second to adjust the font sizes as well if you're playing in a resolution higher than 720p. I tend to think that the game looks the best in 1080p. I do have a 2K monitor, uh, 1440p, but I think everything gets a little tiny at that resolution. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080.
And we'll make sure that dialogues are easier to read, logbook fonts easier to read, okay great. Again, this patch seems to support any valid resolution you put in here, but tends to look best and be the most readable at 1080p. So, once you're done changing the INI file, you'll want to save and close it. And then you'll see another file in here called install.bat. Now this is going to install your changes to the game files. So you run that, you'll see a little pop-up real quick there, and then we're almost done. There is one more gotcha here. If you do have a monitor that supports G-Sync, you'll probably have to turn it off, otherwise the game will crash on launch. Now I do have a monitor that supports G-Sync, so in order to do that, you want to go into your NVIDIA control panel, and you'll see that there's a setting here that says enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. I've already turned it off for the purposes of playing the game, and you'll want to make sure that this is unchecked Close that out. So now that you've finished with all this messing around in the files, it is time to run the game. The Steam version will open up an ancient Sierra launcher from the before times, and you can click the launch button here to start the game, and it'll work just fine. The GOG version can be run right from the Galaxy client. Just click the play button right here. And either version can run just fine if you go to the game directory itself and just start Arcanum Exe. You can also simply just right click and create a shortcut and drag this to your desktop. So once you're actually in the game, it should now run fine. However, you might notice that the videos are unfortunately letterboxed at 800 by 600 resolution and will look pretty teeny tiny on any modern monitor. Now there's no fix for this at the moment, but I did find out that all the cinematics are simple BIK video files in the game directory, so maybe some ambitious soul can upscale these in the future. If you've done this all correctly, you'll see that it's listed as unofficial patch 2.0.2 in the lower left corner right here. And you'll notice that the menu is now stretched out to fit your chosen resolution. Well, that's it. Enjoy Arcanum. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing to Two-Headed Hero to help our channel grow and maybe leave us a like and an encouraging comment. Or if this mod didn't work for you, let me know what happened. While you're here, why not check out our review for Arcanum or maybe one of the other reviews on the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next Two-Headed Hero.